Jamie, Friday night, Martinez for the WBO Super Middleweight Championship. There's a lot at stake, isn't there? Yeah, it's the biggest fight of my career. Um, definitely a lot at stake, but um, yeah, I like, I like the challenge. And how's the training been going? Training's gone really, really good. Um, I've been I've been in training for a fair few months now, uh, from for, since I've been in Vegas to coming back to to England. And the Vegas experience, sparring with Alvarez. Yeah, I mean, I sparred a lot of great people out in in Vegas, San Diego. Sparring sparring Saul uh, for me, he was probably the best fighter in the world. Um, so yeah, to spend to to, to prepare him for his uh, championship fight at, at that time um, and be his main main guy, main sparring partner. It was, uh, yeah, it was a tremendous trip. So nine years on from Commonwealth Games, your previous, the big one, how do you feel? You feel the best you've ever felt? Yeah, I feel brilliant. I mean, if you ask anyone um, in the UK that's seen me sparring and training, uh, that's my manager and my, my coach. Um, you know, I've been, I've been doing my, my fair share <coughs> um, rounds and I've been really really uh, making big big progress over the last year and a half and um, obviously you know I've been I've been sparring and the people ain't even been lasting so I know what I can do with people and, and the weight of course 168 you used to fighting at 160 so this is a step up for you yeah I'm, I'm a 160 fighter I, I was potentially meant to be fighting Chris Eubank on this year at 160 uh, middleweight and um, Obviously, for whatever reason, I don't think they wanted the fight. At 168, there's an opportunity, because I know I deal with people, I've been sparring world-class people at 168, super middleweight, and I know what I can do with them. So, you know, it's an opportunity, and I'm, I'm not shy of an opportunity. So, the WBO European come up, and uh, I'm meant to be fighting Lee Markham. Lee Markham pulled out of the fight. Uh, He's willing to fight Buglioni, but he's not willing to fight me. So, you know, that's it. in a way, you know, that says a lot. And uh, now I'm fighting Blas Margal Martinez. And um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. And I've always wanted to be involved in some big fights. So if this is a step to get involved in a big fight, it's the biggest fight for me. But I mean, like big fights with big names from the UK, some household names, then this is what I've got to do. And the prize, of course is a potential big one. There's the fight, Buglioni Chudinov. You may well be fighting the winner of that for the WBA super middleweight. How do you feel about that? That, that is what I've got into this game for, to be the best, you know, um, to, to, to win a world title and to be the best. I think if anyone gets involved in sport, whether it be javelin, cricket, football, you want to be the best. And, and that, that, that's what I'm in this game for. And I want the challenge, I want the test. Um, and, and you know, if it's Chudinov for Buglioni, it will be another fighter, another human being. And uh, yeah, we just prepare the same and just go and do another job. And your age now? You're 28? 28. Did you always feel this was going to be, you know, your, late, your later 20s was always going to be your prime? Uh, maybe I'm just a, a late blossomer. And, uh, but 28, they say between 28 and 32 or 35 is your prime. So, you know, I'm, I'm just entering that now and hopefully it works for me. Well, with the whole of Swindon behind you, we wish you the best of luck. No, thank you. And I appreciate, you know, everyone that's come in, brought tickets, my sponsors, my team, my family, everyone that's come in. I'm eternally grateful for it. Um, my promoter, Frank Warren. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm just looking forward to, because that, that, that's what I'm about, is not just to win, but to look exciting. And on Friday, I'm going to make sure that it's an exciting fight. Friday night, Fox Nation, tune in, WBO Super Middleweight title at stake.